Good morning, boys and girls. So this week we're gonna be talking about earthworms, which is one of my favorite, favorite themes to talk about. We all know I think they're very cool. So we're gonna read Diary of a Worm, which is one of my favorite books. And I used to read it to my kids when they were super little. March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. The earth gives us everything we need. Number two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. And number three, never bother daddy when he's eating the newspaper. Today, I tried to teach Spider how to dig. First of all, his legs got stuck. Then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. Tomorrow, he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. Worms cannot walk upside down. Fishing season started today. We all dug deeper. It rained all night and the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I ate my homework. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework 10 times. When I was finished, I ate that too. I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. I wiggled up right between them and they screamed. I love when they do that. Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today I said good morning to the first aunt I saw. Good morning. But there were 600 more of them in line. I stood there all day. Had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me, you need legs to be cool. Then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. I made Spider laugh so hard today, he fell out of his tree. Who needs legs? Last night, I went to the school dance. You put your head in, you put your head out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's all we could do. Today, we made macaroni necklaces in art class. I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. My older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. Spider thought that was really funny. Mom did not. When I grow up, I want to be a Secret Service agent. Spider says, I will have to be very careful because the president might stop me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but someone's got to do it. Three things I don't like about being a worm. I can't chew gum, I can't have a dog, and all that homework. Three good things about being a worm. I never have to go to the dentist. I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house and I never have to take a bath. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small and sometimes people forget that we're even here. But like mom always says, the earth never forgets we're here. Love, love, love that book. All right, so I'm gonna read a few facts about earthworms. And we're gonna actually do a drawing of an earthworm today. Okay, so an earthworm, what kind of habitat? Remember, a habitat is where something lives. So an earthworm, they live in the soil, the moist soil. They need that to survive. So if you ever are in your driveway and you see a worm and it's sunny out and he's kind of in the middle of your driveway, I always like to pick them up and put them in the dirt so they don't dry out because the sun can hurt them. Okay, so earthworms lay their eggs in cocoons and baby earthworms just look like, just like adult earthworms, only smaller. This is interesting. Some earthworms can live up to eight years, 
but usually they are squished or eaten by another animal before they have lived for one year. Earthworms have smooth, wet skin that is made up of many small rings. These rings are called segments. All along the worm, on the worm are short, stiff hairs that allow the worm to move. Worms do not have arms, legs, or bones. They have their front end, which is the anterior, and the back end, which is posterior. They do not have eyes or a nose. What do they eat? Earthworms eat rotting plants or dead animals. Not too gross, think about it, so do we. How do they stay safe? Earthworms protect themselves by hiding in their burrows. They can also grow new tails. Some of their burrows, like the tunnel they've dug into the dirt or the soil. Are earthworms important? Yes, they are important to the soil. Their burrows help air and rainwater get deep into the soil. The burrows help to make the soil rich, which helps plants grow. Okay, so let's go over some of the vocabulary. So a burrow is a tunnel dug by a small animal. Segments are small rings connected together across an earthworm's body. Anterior is the front end of an earthworm. Posterior is the back end of an earthworm. And the clitellum helps the worm to form cocoons. So I think, like I said, that earthworms are super cool. So this week we're gonna be working together on an earthworm book which will be super fun. All right, so we are still in April, but we're almost done with April. This Friday will be May 1st. So I just gave you a hint. So after April comes May. Last month was March. So remember we have 12 months of the year. Let's go over them. January, February, March, April, May. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So 12 months in the year and seven days a week. Let's go over those. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And how many seasons? Remember we have four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. So <clears throat> if today is Monday, Yesterday was what day? S Sunday. And tomorrow would be t -t Tuesday. So we have a lot to count because we are what? Almost at the end of the month. I remember this month only has 30 days. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, make sure you're counting with me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So today is Monday, April 27th. 2020. Can't believe we're almost in May. So we have new sight words and a new rhyming word family. So our new words are run and jump. Run and jump. So let's count how many sight words we have now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Almost 40. We've been doing good with our sight words. So we're going to go over all of them. 
And remember, our new ones are run and jump. Me, the, is, my, an, I, and, to, on, so, like, am, go, you, do, see, can, we, in, up, a, it, at, he, no, look, big, here, not, run, for, help, funny, find, jump, make, away, play, down. 39. All right, we are going to do our poem. And what do we think our poem is on today? Earthworms, of course. All righty. So the name of the poem is Worms. I'll go first. And then when I do this, when you see my arm do, oh, it's like a seminal chomp, don't want to do that. When you see me chomp, just kidding, you can say it after me. Okay. Fat worms, skinny worms, long worms too. You go. See them wiggling. What can we do? Tunneling deep in the cool, dark soil. They always seem to work and toil. Fat worms, skinny worms, long worms too. See them wiggling, what can we do? Okay, now we'll say it together. This one's a little longer, so it's called worms. Fat worms, skinny worms, long worms too. See them wiggling, what can we do? Tunneling deep in the cool, dark soil, they always seem to work and toil. Fat worms, skinny worms, long worms too. See them wiggling, what can we do? And I have a few more facts about earthworms. Okay, make sure you can see this. Awesome. All right, so this is fun facts about earthworms. Earthworms breathe through their skin. Worms that come out at night are called night crawlers. There are over 6,000 different types of earthworms. Earthworms have no bones or skeleton, and the largest worm ever found was over 22 feet long. That is super, super long. All right, boys and girls, I will see you in a little bit for our directional drawing.